Wow, that episode was even darker than I predicted. The episode before really seemed to establish that everything was going to be settled. Ivor was more settled, Alfred was settled, Uber, Bjorn, even Iceland. But now everything is turning to shit again. So let's look at this preview and try and find out what some of the new conflicts will be for the upcoming episode as well as the rest of the season. I had an arrangement with Ivor that after his death I would be king of Gattegat. Well then we will make the same arrangement. So Harold and Bjorn have a discussion about their future and what's going to happen once they successfully take down Ivor. Harold tries to bring up the fact that he probably should become king now because that was the agreement he had with Ivor after Ivor died. But it seems like Bjorn wants to put himself as king and then make Harold repeat the same agreement again with him delaying his approach to being king even more. When Herod was confronted about his loss, the guy specifically named him losing to Bjorn. He has lost so much and this defeat has made him even more bitter and angry. And on top of all of that, the only thing that kind of gave him a little bit of hope for the future, this new girl that was introduced into his life, has been taken by Bjorn. Bjorn escapes Herald in England, going back to his main hub, stealing his flagship and going to England. He then teams up with Alfred and destroys him in battle. And just to top it all off, he takes his potential girl, which he's very envious of. And now, after all of that, Bjorn, his enemy, another son of Ragnar, is delaying his approach to the throne. I don't think that Herald and Bjorn will ever get to Kattegat and fight together. I see them dealing with this struggle for power right here, right now. And Hero won't just be able to just kill him by ordering his execution, he'll have to fight him. His defeat scarred his reputation so much that he was fought on the doorsteps of York by his own men. And of course Magnus is very very happy to see Bjorn and on his side because he was the one that brought him into the fold, accepted him as a brother and gave him purpose in his life. So Bjorn has way too many friends just to play the power card. He'll have to probably take him 1v1. Tell me what you guys think about this Herald Bjorn conflict over power, how it's going to end up. Will one of them die, most likely Herald, or will maybe one of them escape and kind of do their own thing still, staying around in the ether of the Viking world? A large Viking army will arrive at our borders in a matter of days. I advise you make me the head of your army, otherwise you have no hope. So it does seem that Vikings is going to make Alfred recover from the sickness quite quickly. It's clear that Vikings really just wanted to use the sickness to show the constant kind of problems that will cause down the line for his throne, as well as flush out that Aethelred death we just got. I really want to see Alfred confront Judith about this and be really angry about how she just went totally over the line. For some reason, much like how Vikings like to do brother conflicts, they also like to show mothers doing really bad influences on their children in Vikings. Like Lagatha was alright, but it was mainly this comparison I have between Judith and Aslog. She stoked Ivor's dreams and imaginations and made him even crazy and weird and added some really strange past to his character and Judith is doing the same thing, kind of doting too much on Alfred and so both of them have very similar mother figures in their lives. Way overprotective, kind of forgiving of their children, clearly choosing a favorite, not really caring that much about the other siblings, and some pretty deep down brutality. Just another interesting parallel we get between Ivor and Alfred, especially as they kind of build that theme that they will be the master kind of challenges to each other, especially when them bringing back that chess piece that Ivor got from that first encounter between the two of them. So Alfred finds out that he's not going to have much of a break to really contemplate too much about what happened with his brother because he's already getting faced with another Viking army. It seems clear that he's gone back to Uber again and he's trying to get him to join in and Uber's making it very clear that he needs to lead the army. Uber is in a far better position to negotiate his different demands, especially now that he has the lands and his own right to rule. So Alfred can't really use that threat he had of putting them to death he didn't fight for him because that would be totally illegal now. He's a landholder and a Christian that's definitely not going to go down well with anyone, especially with the amount of resistance he still has. So it might be interesting to see Uber step up yet again and still continue to help Alfred even though the motivation isn't as super clear as it was before. Showing that he's not just committed to do the short term land gains, but rather to keep a growing friendship with Wessex and work with him to build up the new East Anglia. They may even do this by making Alfred quite sickly and difficult to go back in the battlefield, making it even more necessary for Uber to step up and take that lead role. And I'm not complaining with that at all because I was a little bit afraid that maybe their relationship would kind of break up and we'd see a lot less scenes with them, especially because they're in different parts of the kingdom. But it's clear that Vikings still wants their relationship to grow and become a lot more than it is just now. 
So it'd be great to see what Vikings 2 has in store for us with those characters. Do you want me to protect you? Yeah. Do you want me to destroy them? Yeah. So it seems like they've placed these two clips quite carefully together, where Ivar's kind of rallying his troops and putting out the idea of raiding England. And oh boy, Alfred has a Viking army coming, so maybe we're thinking it's going to happen this episode, or maybe Ivar's already landing, but I don't think so. I really see the conflict between Bjorn and Ivar going off before Alfred and him really meet on the field. I did like how they had all the snapshots after he was like, do you want me to destroy them? And it kind of snapshot through Herald and Uber and Bjorn really quickly. But I think they're just trying to hype up this kind of England attack from Ivor without really doing it for at least this episode, maybe end of season, but it seems like we're going to get this Bjorn conflict far earlier. From the reaction in the crowd, it does seem that Ivor has really gained a solid control over Kattegat. And he's still trying to paint that picture of him being this all-benevolent protector of that place. So it will be interesting to kind of pay attention to which conflicts kind of go off first, how Bjorn, Ivor, Alfred are all going to interact and fight each other without things getting too messy. You're a witch and the murderess, and you deserve to die! Oh, this is madness! Vikings. So this episode is going to be a really big juxtaposition to what we had in the previous episode, where Iceland really seemed like they were going to patch their, you know, different grievances and get together, but... Absolutely not. We see that the father is confronting Avon's wife and calling her a witch. We get this beautiful shot of him blood covered in face and he's looking like super evil. He throws down a threat then probably slaps or hits her onto the ground there and everyone rushes in to stop him. We heard the seer saying that everything is going into the dark and it definitely seems like Iceland's included in that. This is kind of sad because Iceland was finally getting peaceful. We had that really nice scene where they had that like really not so great looking meal kind of show up and Floki's like oh food kind of giving us a glimpse of that good old happy Floki we had for such a long time but alas it does not seem like it's going to last much longer now we also get these two shots that seem to have Floki holding a knife up to his neck at first when I saw it it looked like the sword was almost going through his neck but really it seems like that we had that hand below it so he's like almost holding a knife to his own throat as some kind of like protest maybe like he often tries to kill himself or sacrifice himself to try and resolve violence maybe this starts escalating he's like no 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 I'll cut my throat if if you don't stop now I don't know how effective that will be but it seems the way he's trying to make this go it's only one shot and it's a bit speculating so I'll leave it up to you guys to tell me what you think will happen in Iceland with the violence escalating and with people not really getting over their old grievances and things like this shot happening. Where do you see the future of Iceland going and has there any happy ending here? Because I really want there to be a happy ending but it seems like this season is not going to give us any of those. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you guys had a great new year and Christmas and all that. For sure I did and I know that it's good to get back to kind of a regular schedule and putting out Viking videos for you guys again. Especially as the season is kind of ramping up and we're getting these really intense dark storylines that is really kind of blowing my mind almost. Other than that, look out for my review and skull.